Hi everyone, this is New Times Hair. Today we're going to talk to you about one of the fundamental aspects of making a hair system, ventilation. There are nine ventilation methods in the hair industry and they are as follows. Single reverse split knots, double reverse split knots, single flat knots, double flat knots, V-looped hair, normal injected hair, lift injected hair, double silk top and single silk top. Each method has its own characteristics and can give you a particular look to your hair. But you need to be careful about which ventilation method you use and where because it could have an overall negative effect on the look of your hair system. At New Times Hair, we have a team of professional sales representatives who can help and assist you on any matter and this includes with product design or business development. We also guarantee the high quality of all our products and what you order is what you'll get. In this video, we're going to introduce three ventilation methods that can only be used on skin bases. The three methods are known as V-looped, flat injected, and lift injected. And we're going to show you how we make them and talk about the different kind of appearance they can give to hair. First, we're going to show you what a V-loop knot is. And remember, V-loop knots can only be applied to skin bases. So, there are no knots on the base. It's all very natural. You can see that the two strands of V-looped hair are split. So, just like single split knots, we need to press and rub the hair root after finishing one line of knotting to get the two strands of hair to stay together and have the same hair direction. Because of this, V-looped hair has a natural lift. It doesn't lay flat down on the base. So it's ideally suited to the top or the crown area or anywhere else that you want a natural lift effect to your hair. Okay, let's do some more. Unlike lace or mono, when we finish knotting hair on a skin base, we need to turn over the base and we need to seal the hair with a layer of poly. This will also smoothen the underside of the base, making it comfortable for the wearer. Now let's show you how we do this. We'll reverse the base and then brush on a layer of poly all over it. When that is done, we'll put it in the oven and wait for the poly to dry. So you can see that there are no knots on a V-looped hair system. That's why we can make V-looped hair systems very thin. At New Times Hair, we can make them of just 0.03 millimeters in thickness. This means they're very light, very natural, but what your clients need to be aware of is that they're not going to last a long time. They may look very natural, but because there are no knots and just a layer of poly, they have a shorter lifespan. Now let's move on to talk about normal injected knots for hair systems. As is the case with V-looped hair, normal injected knots can only be applied to skin bases. Now let's see how we make normal injected knots. You can see the hair being injected into the base and there are no knots, making the hair look very natural. Okay, let's do some more. So again, with this kind of ventilation method, there are no knots, just a layer of poly on the underside. So this hair system is not going to last a long time like knotted hair. This hair system is therefore for clients who want a natural appearance, who are happy with a flat hair effect, 
but are not so concerned about a long lifespan. As is the case with bee looped hair, you need to brush a layer of poly on the underside of the base. But this time, the process is a little bit more complicated because you first need to shave the roots of the hair before you brush on the layer of poly. So first, we need to turn over the base and shave all the hair roots to the same length. For normal injected hair, we keep the hair roots a little bit longer so that they stay on the base a bit better. Then we brush on a layer of poly to seal the hair. Now we're going to iron the roots so that they lay down on the base. Because the hair roots are a little bit longer, when you iron them down, the hair on the top side of the base will lay down. This gives a flat look to your hair and it also means the hair will not change direction easily. Next, we're going to look at lift injected knots. Lift injected knots can also only be applied to skin bases. Let's have a look at how we make them now. So you can see, again, there are no knots on the base, giving a very natural look to the hair. You can see that these kind of knots are similar to normal injected, as there are no knots on the base, and again, the hair has a very natural look to it. Okay, now let's do some more. Just like V-looped hair and normal injected hair, for lift injected hair, we also need to seal the underside of the base with a layer of poly. Let's show you how we do it. First of all, we need to turn over the base and shave all the hair roots. This time though, we need to shave them to a very short length, unlike normal injected hair. This means the hair on the top will have a natural lift to it. But because the hair roots are very short and there are no knots, it's harder for them to stay on the base. That's why we need to make the skin base a little bit thicker than we would for normal injected hair. Thicker skin bases also give the hair more of a natural lift. After we shave the hair, we don't need to iron the roots. That's because they were cut very short. We just need to brush on a layer of poly. And when we've done that, we can place it in the oven and wait for the poly to dry. Lift injected hair pieces are more natural than normal injected hair pieces because of their short roots. The hair in lift injected hair pieces can also be changed freely, making them more like our own natural hair. In term, in thinking about your clients, but because of their short hair roots, they have a short lifespan. 
So that means that these hair systems are suited for clients who wish for a realistic hair appearance but are not so concerned about how long their hair system will last. Let's now compare a normal injected hair system against a lift injected hair system. You can see that a normal injected hair system has longer roots, the hair lies flat and you can't change the hair direction easily. On the other hand, with a lift injected hair system, it has short roots, there is more of a natural lift so it doesn't lay flat on the, on the base and you can change the hair direction easily. You can also apply single reverse split knots and single flat knots to a skin base. If they are applied, then you will have to brush a layer of poly on the underside to seal the hair. This kind of design is really durable. And if you'd like to know about single reverse split knots or single flat knots, then click on the link in this video's short description. There are also more than just the five ventilation methods we've mentioned here. So if you want to know more about them, more about the other ventilation methods, then keep looking out for our videos here on YouTube.